Hi, welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 2-95 from RC Hippeler Engineering Static Draw Edition. According to this problem, we have to express the force F as a Cartesian vector and then determine its coordinate direction angles. Now to solve this problem, first of all, we have to find the coordinates of the points AB along which the force F is located. So for the coordinates, for the point A, I have to draw the position vector from the origin to the point A and it would look something like this. Now I have to draw its projection along the xy plane to resolve it along the x and y axis. So the projection along the, on the xy plane would look something like this. And it can be written as 10 cos 70. Now I can resolve this projection along the y axis and the x axis. This component, the y component, is 10 cos 70 into cos 30, which can be simplified to. 2.96 and this component, the x component is 10 cos 70 into sine 30 and it can be simplified to 1.71. Why we have this 30 degrees angle? Because this angle right here is also 30 degrees. Also, we have a component along the z axis and it would look something like this. And this right here is 10 sine 70. And it can be simplified to 9.4. So the coordinates of point A are negative 1.71, comma, 2.96, comma, 9.4. And now for the coordinates of point B. The point B is 5 feet along the x axis, negative 7 feet along the y axis, and 0 along the z axis. Now, this force F can be written as in terms of vector form as the magnitude into the unit vector between the points A and B. And for the unit vector AB, it can be written as the position vector RAB over its magnitude. And the position vector RAB can be found by subtracting the coordinates of point B from the coordinates of point A. So 5 minus negative 1.71 i plus negative 7 minus 2.96 j plus 0 minus 9.4a divided by six point seven one square plus negative nine point nine six square plus negative nine point four square. So when we simplify it, the unit vector a b comes out to be zero point four four i minus zero point six five j minus zero point six two k. Now we have to put the values of u a b into this equation. So the force f in terms of Cartesian vector form becomes the magnitude of the force f which is one thirty five L B s into zero point four four i minus 0.65j minus 0.62k. So the force F in terms of Cartesian vector form becomes 59.4i minus 87.8j minus 83.7k. So this is our first answer.
now for the coordinate direction angles we have to find the cos alpha which is equals to frx over fr the alpha is equals to cos inverse of frx which is 59.4 divided by the value of fr the magnitude of fr basically which is 135 i'll be so alpha comes out to be 63.9 degrees now we have to repeat the same procedure to find the values of beta and gamma so cos beta is equals to fry over fr so beta is equals to cos inverse of the negative 87.8 divided by 135 so beta comes out to be 130.5 degrees now for the cos gamma cos gamma is frz over fr So gamma becomes cos inverse of negative eighty three point seven over one thirty five. So from here, gamma comes out to be one twenty eight point three degrees. So these are our other answers. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates and if you have any questions or any doubts about this problem then feel free to ask in the comment section and i will answer it as soon as possible thank you